What's up guys? I am here today to listen to the new Carrie Underwood single, Cry Pretty. I've already heard this song. I was I wanted to tweet it about it, tweet about it this morning. So I listened to it so I could uh, weigh in with everyone else on Twitter. But I want to go through the songs. I have a lot to say about it. And so I'm going to listen to it. It's not a true like first time reaction, but this is kind of my review because I think this is a really cool release and it's on a Wednesday. So it's like the resurrection of Carrie Underwood Wednesdays, but it's not. I'm still not going to do them weekly, but um, let's listen to this. I'm sorry, but I'm keeping it together. I hold my composure for worse or for better. So I love that opening stanza of this song. I'm sorry, I'm just a girl, not usually the kind to show my heart to the world. I'm pretty good at keeping it together. I hold my composure for worse or for better. To me, this this is the first uh, time Carrie Underwood is sort of acknowledging the perception around her that uh, she can be a little reserved. Some people find her a little cold. And it's not normal for Carrie to do a narrative, kind of first-person narrative like this song. I feel like she's always in that storyteller mode where she's talking about some cheating, uh, murderous wife or um, an all-American girl. There's always characters. And this is her saying, no, I'm sorry, I'm just a girl. Um, and I don't like to show my emotions and I like to keep my composure to myself. Um, obviously a lot's gone on in between this record and, and her last one. There was that huge fall that we still don't know all the details of, but she fell off her porch, broke her wrist, and, and apparently had to get stitches in her face and has said, uh, expressed to some extent some insecurity about returning into the spotlight. And I think that sentiment, that vulnerability and insecurity seems to be informing already the beginning of this song. Guys, if you don't like what you Falling apart is as human as it gets. So it seems like she's she's uncomfortable, like, oh no, I'm showing emotion and I can't hide it and this is being human and maybe she's not totally used to doing that. She's used to being, you know, keeping those things to herself. You can pretty lie. So what Carrie's saying here is there's tons of ways to fake how, how you're feeling. You can smile, you can lie, um, you can fake your way through anything, but you can't cry pretty. It's almost like she's saying, well, when you're feeling bad, when you want to cry, that can't be hidden. Everyone can see your pain. Um, and that seems intimidating for her in a way. I love this song. That, what a cool vocal. It's very glam too, which I like. I mean, just the, the aesthetics of it, all the pink glitter and the, the kind of like arena rock sound. Carrie's always had that side of her, but I uh, I think it works. Okay, verse two. Oh no, you can't dress it up. You may surround stones. It don't matter if you're in a crowd. A home all alone. A pants or a pants. I gotta stop it for a second. Uh, this second verse to me is a, a verse that maybe only Carrie Underwood can sing. Let me read a couple lines. You can't dress it up in lace or rhinestones. It don't matter if you're in a crowd or home all alone. It's all the same when you're looking in the mirror. A picture of pain, let it flow like a river. I really like that line, you can't dress it up in lace or rhinestones. I mean, Carrie in this song, when she's mentioning mascara and lace, and rhinestones and the mirror there's an element of fashion to this song and that's kind of indicative of the imagery with all the the running makeup on her face that's all glittery carrie underwood is sort of like a country barbie that's always an article you see after the cmas how many dresses she wore last night and this song to me is very self-aware the most self-aware i've ever seen carrie underwood where she's saying like i, I do care about um my composure i do care about how i look I am sort of reserved, but when I feel bad, I'm feeling bad. Um, and, and she's kind of not hiding behind that veneer and she's acknowledging like, yeah, maybe insecure about how I look right now. And I would imagine, I, I don't know, but I would imagine this song was written after her accident. I'm not sure, but let's get into another chorus cause she's about to go take it up a notch for eight. Hey, 
to make your way through anything, but you can't cry pretty. It's such a good lyric. Okay, so here's a part where we're getting into to new lyrics now. You can't turn off the flood when the dam breaks. I like that. It, it's talking about tears, but it's using a different a different image for it. <laughs> All your mascara is going to waste. They do a good job of coming up with different ways to say crying. Ooh, we got a big guitar solo here. This is where I meant it's really kind of glam rock to me. It reminds me of Sign of the Times by Harry Styles, actually. I, I don't like how in the lyric video they show all the extra little vocal things she does. Every yeah, every ooh, every no, but it's okay. This is very, uh, you can tell that a Christian producer did this, because this is like the technique of Christian contemporary music, is after the bridge to do a few lines without any instruments, and then it's all going to come crashing back in. Yeah. So, I love this whole like last minute and a half of the song where she's just wailing up here. It's awesome. I like when Carrie cuts loose. I actually think she's a better rocker than uh, she usually gets credit for. She seems to enjoy it on stage. I remember when I watched Paradise City and I was like, whoa, this is so much fun to see her doing this. That's how the end of this song feels. She's just letting loose, open her heart. I mean, I think it works. I think it's so bold. This is by far my favorite lead single she's ever done. You hear that falsetto? She's got a crazy big voice. Guys, I love that song. Uh, that is by Carrie Underwood. It's called Cry Pretty. She co-wrote it with Liz Rose, who you may have heard about uh, from many of Taylor Swift's early songs, uh, including All Too Well. She helped edit that down into the masterpiece that it is. Lori McKenna, who's written a billion awesome songs. Uh, the one she's probably most famous for most recently is Humble and Kind for Tim McGraw. And so Lori McKenna, Liz Rose, and Hilary Lindsay, who's a huge country writer and actually has sort of veered into pop in the last few years, wrote Million Reasons with Lady Gaga. And the three of them together call themselves Love Junkies. And they're the team behind uh, Girl Crush, which blew up two years ago. And they co-wrote this with Carrie Underwood. And I really feel like they helped her share her own self in a way. Uh, it's a great writing team. And I think the songwriting on this is really exemplary. I think the whole pretty lie, pretty smile, uh, that's, it's, it's odd the first time you hear it, you're like, you can pretty lie. That's not a phrase, but it's, it makes enough sense to your brain that you kind of listen closer. And I think they're really good at doing things like that in a song. Um, adding just enough confusion that you actually listen closer to the lyrics. Um, like I said, I think this song really fits Carrie's persona within country music. And she's enough of an A-list star that it doesn't feel annoying for her to be kind of reflecting on her own place and her the, the public perception of her sort of reservedness and, and desire to not show her pain. So uh, I'm super interested to see her sing this at the ACMs. I'm wondering what this performance is going to be like because if we're entering into an era of Carrie Underwood really... Um, becoming a storyteller of her own stories instead of just of characters and songs. I'm pumped. I'm really, really pumped to get to see a little bit of what makes her tick as an artist. And maybe that's something that has come um, with motherhood. And maybe that's something that's come uh, in this accident. I don't know. But, uh, or maybe this is just a kind of one-off song in which she's letting us see behind the curtain. But I'm really excited for it. I really like this song, and I hope we get to hear more things like this. So let me know what you think of Cry Pretty. I'm really impressed with it as a single. Sorry if this video was a little choppy. I don't know a good way to do it because it wasn't like an authentic reaction. Maybe I should have just reviewed it, but um, I'll see when I'm editing it. And uh, anyway, let me know what you guys think. I love this song, uh, and I'll see you whenever I see you next.